Welcome back to another year with Ed Club. In this video, we will first show you how to clean up the existing information in your account. Then we'll go over how to add new data. Here, I can see a list of my active classes. Students enrolled in these classes can still log in and work on their assignments. Since these classes are from last year, let's look at what we can do to clean them up. Option one would be to delete the classes. Please note that deleting classes is a permanent action and we would not be able to restore deleted classes. To delete classes, select the classes you would like to delete and click delete. Student progress is tied to the student and to the course, not to the class. This means when you delete a class from your Typing Club account, it deletes the class, but the students in the class will remain in the account. Since student progress is tied to the student and to the course and not to the class, when you add the student to a new class and assign the same course, their progress will remain. Another option is to archive old classes. This is a good option if you may need to reference or restore the classes at a later date. Archived classes will disappear from your main class list and students cannot work on assignments in archived classes. To archive classes, select the classes, click More Actions, Archive. On your main screen, by default, you can only see the active classes. To view your archived classes, click Filters. Under Status, select Show All or Archived. Now I can see all of my classes, both active and archived. To restore classes, select the classes, click More Actions, Restore. A third option for your classes is to update the old classes. This is a good option if you have customized a lot of settings you want to preserve. To update the old classes, click on a class, click Edit Class. Here you can change the name, grade, or description of the class. You can also disenroll the students from the class. To do this for an individual class, click on Students, and then Select, and click Disenroll. This will remove the students from the class, but it will not remove the students from the account. Also, update any class instructors by assigning a new instructor or unassigning an existing instructor. You also have the option to clear the roster for all of your classes in bulk. To do this, click on Classes, select the classes, click More Actions, Clear Roster. This will remove the students from all of the selected classes, but it will not delete the students from the account. Now we will take a look at students. You can use the headers to search by name or last activity date. You can also use the filters to search by school, class, grade, instructor, status, created date, last login date, or last activity date. You can also search for unenrolled students only. One option is to archive your students. To archive, select the students, click More Actions, Archive. Students who have been archived will not be able to log in. 
but you could always go back and restore them or view their data. Another option is to delete students. Please note that deleting students is a permanent action. To delete students, select the students' names and click Delete. Once you have deleted or archived the appropriate students, you can then select your remaining students and click More Actions, Move Up One Grade. Next, if you have multiple schools in your account, you can review the school list and make sure all the information is correct. Same is true for instructors. You can delete and archive any instructors who are not returning and add any new instructors or update instructor roles and permissions. To add a new instructor, click Add Instructor, fill out their information and select their roles and permissions. To update the roles and permissions for an existing instructor, click on the instructor, click Edit Instructor, edit the roles or permissions, and click Update Instructor. Now that our old data has been cleaned up, we can start adding the new data for this year. First, we'll start with classes. If you only have a few classes to add, you can add them individually. Go to the Classes tab and click Add Class. Fill out the required fields and click Add Class. If you use Google Classroom or Clever Library, you can add your classes and students from there. To do so, click on the appropriate icon and follow the prompts. Then click Import Class next to the classes you want to import. Whenever you receive a new student with Google Classroom or Clever Library, you would need to resync the class. To do so, click on the appropriate icon Follow the prompts and then click Resync next to the classes you wish to resync. Next, we'll move on to adding students. If you only have a few students to add, you can add them individually by clicking on the Students tab and then clicking Add Student, Add One Student. Fill out the required fields. Select any accessibility settings and click Add Student. In order to log in and start working, students must be enrolled in a class. You can enroll them now by clicking Enroll in Class. If you have many students to add, click Add Student. Import Update Students. Import Update Tool. Here, you can upload a list of your students using a CSV file. We do have a sample CSV file available for you to download and use as a reference. Once you're ready, upload your file. Click Next. Make sure the headers are correct. Select the school and click Finalize Import. Now you can enroll all of these students in a class. Please note all students on one CSV file will need to be enrolled in the same class. So we would recommend having one CSV file per class. Another option is to allow your students to add themselves to the account using a class code. To do that, you would add the class and click Enable Class Code. You will need to provide your students with either the class code or the class code URL. The first time students go to log in, they will need to enter the class code and create their credentials. Please note, 
they will only use the class code one time to create their account. Moving forward, they will go to your account URL and log in with their credentials. Once all your students are enrolled in your class, we would recommend disabling the class code so students cannot create duplicate accounts. Now, we will take a look at courses. We currently offer typing, vocabulary and spelling, digital citizenship, and SEL courses. You can also view any custom courses that you have created and all of our Ed Club managed courses. We also offer courses in a variety of languages. Our vocabulary and spelling courses are currently available for grades 3 through 8. Digital citizenship is available for grades 1 through 5, and SEL is available for grades 1 through 5. We also have our new grade level typing courses available for grades 1 through 12. New for this school year, we have our Jungle Junior course available in Spanish and a new animated story, The Beast of Camp Buckley. Be sure to also check out our other six animated stories as well. Make sure to also adjust your course settings. Here you can set the default course for your entire account or by grade level. The default course is the first course assigned to a class by default. Lastly, if you are a large account, we would recommend uploading your data using the Data Import tool. To use this tool, click Tools, Data Import tool. Please review the provided reference files as the files do need to be formatted correctly and uploaded in a specific order. Schools first, then instructors, then classes, then students. Whenever you are ready, upload your file, click process file, then scroll down and you can view the status of all your uploads. We also offer full integration with Clever or Classlink for paid school edition accounts who purchase 200 or more student licenses per year. If you are interested in this, please reach out to our support team. Lastly, if you have any questions, you can click on the support tab and view our help center. You can also contact our support team directly by creating a ticket.